I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 6.1 Questioner, we would like to continue the material from yesterday. Answer, I am Ra. This is well with us. We proceed now with the third area of teach learning concerning the development of the energy powers of healing. The third area is the spiritual complex which embodies the fields of force and consciousness which are the least distorted of your mind, body, spirit complex. The exploration and balancing of the spirit complex is indeed the longest and most subtle part of your learned teaching. We have considered the mind as a tree. The mind controls the body. With the mind single-pointed, balanced, and aware, the body comfortable in whatever biases and distortions make it appropriately balanced for that instrument, the instrument is then ready to proceed with the great work. That is the work of wind and fire. The spiritual body energy field is a pathway or channel. When body and mind are receptive and open, then the spirit can become a functioning shuttle or communicator from the entity's individual energy of will upwards, and from the streamings of the creative fire and wind downwards. The healing ability, like all other, what this instrument would call paranormal abilities, is affected by the opening of a pathway or shuttle into intelligent infinity. There are many upon your plane who have a random hole or gateway in their spirit energy field, sometimes created by the ingestion of chemicals such as, what this instrument would call LSD, who are able, randomly and without control to tap into energy sources. They may or may not be entities who wish to serve. The purpose of carefully and consciously opening this channel is to serve in a more dependable way, in a more commonplace or usual way, as seen by the distortion complex of the healer. To others there may appear to be miracles. To the one who has carefully opened the door to intelligent infinity this is ordinary, this is commonplace, this is as it should be. The life experience becomes somewhat transformed and the great work goes on. At this time we feel these exercises suffice for your beginning. We will, at a future time, when you feel you have accomplished that which is set before you, begin to guide you into a more precise understanding of the functions and uses of this gateway and the experience of healing. Question 6.2 Questioner, I've been asked if it is possible for Tom Flaherty to attend one of these communication sessions tomorrow. Are you familiar with the entity, Tom Flaherty? Answer, I am Ra. This mind, body, spirit complex, sound vibration Tom Flaherty, is acceptable. We caution you to carefully instruct this entity in the frame of mind and various appurtenances which you must understand before it is conducted into the circle. Question 6.3 Questioner, I'm not quite sure what you mean by appurtenances. Ra, I was referring to the symbolic objects which trigger this instrument's distortions towards love light. The placement and loving acceptance of them by all present is important in the nurturing of this instrument. Therefore, the appurtenances involved must be described and their presence explained in your own words of teach learning, for you have the proper attitude for the required results. Question 6.4 Questioner, I think this might be an appropriate time to include a little more background on yourself possibly information having to do with where you came from prior to your involvement with planet Earth, if this is possible. Answer, I am Ra. I am, with the social memory complex of which I am a part, one of those who voyaged outward from another planet within your own solar system, as this entity would call it. The planetary influence was that you call Venus. We are a race old in your measures. When we were at the sixth dimension our physical beings were what you would call golden. We were tall and somewhat delicate. Our physical body complex covering, which you call the integument, had a golden luster. In this form we decided to come among your peoples. Your peoples at that time were much unlike us in physical appearance, as you might call it. We, thus, did not mix well with the population and were obviously other than they. Thus, our visit was relatively short, for we found ourselves in the hypocritical position of being acclaimed as other than your other selves. This was the time during which we built the structures in which you show interest. Question 6.5 Questioner, how did you journey from Venus to this planet? Ra, we used thought. Question 6.6 .6. Questioner, 
Would it have been possible to have taken one of the people of this planet at that time and placed him on Venus? Would he have survived? Were conditions on Venus hospitable? Ra, the third density conditions are not hospitable to the life forms of your peoples. The fifth and sixth dimensions of that planetary sphere are quite conducive to growing learning teaching. Question 6.7 Questioner, how were you able to make the transition from Venus? Did you have to change your dimension to walk upon the Earth? Ra, you will remember the exercise of the wind. The dissolution into nothingness is the dissolution into unity, for there is no nothingness. From the sixth dimension, we are capable of manipulating, by thought, the intelligent infinity present in each particle of light or distorted light so that we were able to clothe ourselves in a replica visible in the third density of our mind, body, spirit complexes in the sixth density. We were allowed this experiment by the council which guards this planet. Question 6.8 Questioner, where is this council located? Ra, this council is located in the octave or eighth dimension of the planet Saturn taking its place in an area which you understand in third dimensional terms as the rings. Question 6.9 Questioner, are there any people such as you find on Earth on any of the other planets in our solar system? Ra, do you request space-time present information or space-time continuum information? Question 6.10 Questioner, both. Ra, at one time space, in what is your past, there was a population of third density beings upon a planet which dwelt within your solar system. There are various names by which this planet has been named. The vibratory sound complex most usually used by your peoples is Moldek. These entities, destroying their planetary sphere, thus were forced to find room for themselves upon this third density which is the only one in your solar system at their time-space present which was hospitable and capable of offering the lessons necessary to decrease their mind, body, spirit distortions with respect to the law of one. Question 6.11 Questioner, how did they come here? Ra, they came through the process of harvest and were incarnated through the processes of incarnation from your higher spheres within this density. Question 6.12 Questioner, how long ago did this happen? Ra, I am having difficulty communicating with this instrument. We must deepen her state. This occurred approximately 500,000 of your years ago. Question 6.13 Questioner, is all of the Earth's human population then originally from Moldek? Answer, I am Ra. This is a new line of questioning, and deserves a place of its own. The ones who were harvested to your sphere from the sphere known before its dissolution as other names, but to your peoples as Moldek, incarnated, many within your Earth's surface rather than upon it. The population of your planet contains many various groups harvested from other second dimension and cycled third dimension spheres. You are not all one race or background of beginning. The experience you share is unique to this time-space continuum.